Hi guys, Dogfog here and welcome back to another FIFA 17 player review. Today we're going to be reviewing the 91 rated team of the group stage player, Dybala. Uh, he cost me 611k and in the 6 games that I played with him he got me 13 goals and 4 assists. He has a medium medium work rate along with a freestyle weak foot and 4 star skill moves. So let's now get into his in-game stats and highlights. Okay guys, so getting into Dybala's in-game stats, the four main stats on his card listed out to me are his 96 finishing, his 97 ball control, his 99 heading accuracy, and his 97 free kick accuracy. He has the specialists of dribbler, acrobat, and clinical finisher, along with the traits of finesse shot, flair, corner specialist, and taking finesse style free kicks. I'm getting into what's the highlights that I got with Dybala. Um... Words cannot describe how good this player was. He was absolutely fantastic. Uh, first of all, I'm going to get into, off, into his first pro being his finishing. Uh, he does have 96 finishing on his in-game stats, and it felt like it was 99 uh, when using him. He was good both on his left and right foot. His weak foot at 3-star felt like it was about a 5-star. Um, even though he has got the preferred foot of a left foot, most shots that I was taking with him were with his right foot. Actually, I only realized later on that he was actually a left-footed player. Um, so definitely his... Um his shooting and finishing overall being very good, in particular inside the box. His long shots weren't amazing for me, um, mainly definitely inside the box is where he was most uh, clinical for me. Uh, he does also have the uh, specialist as well of clinical finisher. Uh, his second pro for me was his dribbling. His dribbling is fantastic. He does have 96 dribbling on his base card and his dribbling stats overall in game are just phenomenal. And uh, also being at the height of 5 foot 9 that even helps more, um, just kind of you know, gliding through, like, the opposition team. It was just so easy to do that with him, and also playing alongside with Aspas, who I'm also going to be reviewing later on today. Um, you know, the two of them just linked up so well, and both their dribbling uh, was amazing. But, yeah, Dybala's uh, dribbling was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, his next pro for me is his passing. He does have 90 passing on his card. Um... You can easily use him as a camera centre forward, but I would recommend using him as a striker to get the best out of him. His passing was fantastic. He did get me four assists. Um, you know, it wasn't long passes. He wasn't really particularly good at. He just made good through balls uh, for Aspas or maybe for Fernandes in the cam position. He was really good at doing that, so that was another pro to his card. His final pro for me being his positioning. Um... He does have 91 positioning, I believe, on his in-game stats. And in-game, he was always in the right position for me. He never held back too much, which can be an issue, obviously, with some strikers. The medium-medium work rate, to my understanding, isn't the best for a striker. However, I didn't find an issue with that in-game. He'd always make good runs as well um, whenever Fernandez or Aspas would have the ball or uh, Kovacic or somebody like that. Uh, he would always make very good runs, so it was very easy to play the ball to him. And then he had very good ball control, so he was able to control it well. Have the pace to accelerate ahead of the defence. And then obviously uh, his good finishing inside the box. Overall, a perfect legend to use. I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10 rating. I really enjoyed this guy. He was so much fun to use. Uh, 611k. He has gone up a little bit more than that. He's a very rare card actually at the moment in the game. Um, and just so much fun to use, honestly. Um, one of the best cards I've uh, used in a striker position this year. Um, just so much fun. But anyway, that guys is going to finish off this video. I hope you have enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys later.